everybody. This is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Checking out this cardboard cutout here of David Arquette. But wait a minute, who's that over there? Hey! <laughs> it's the actual Mr. David Arquette. That's Mr. Arquette, right. how's it going today? Good, how are you? I'm doing awesome. So we're here at the Bob Ross booth at Toy Fair 2023 and you're painting. You're a certified Bob Ross instructor. I never knew That's that. That's right, I'm a certified Bob Ross instructor. Anyone can be. You have to go to New Smyrna Beach, Florida or Muncie, Indiana, and you can take a course, three week course, and then if you really stick with it, <laughs> yeah, you too could be a Bob Ross instructor. So when did you start painting with Bob Ross? Is this something that happened over the Well, pandemic? before we get to that, we're about to do a happy little tree. So why All don't right. you, here we go. That's a big, brave line right there. Yeah, you have to really be bold sometimes. <laughs> I'm just digging that fan brush action. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I just wanted to do that on camera. <laughs> so, uh, so when did you discover that you liked doing painting and Bob Ross was the way to go for you? Oh, I've always sort of loved art. Uh, I don't know, my family always kind of put a, put a, uh, put importance on art and, and doing creative stuff. So, I remember seeing Bob when I was younger and always loving watching and being mesmerized by his talent. So then when I learned, when I heard I could uh, learn to do it, I was really thrilled. And when he started coming back, they started being able to, um, he started being able to see his show again. That really opened it up for me. I mean, for me, I started watching a lot more Bob Ross again just during the pandemic because there's a Twitch yeah. channel that has it on a lot. Uh, so yeah, I've been yeah. watching it for, God, really my entire lifetime, I feel like. Yeah. But we, They're amazing. They support like a ton of the charity that I do. So I do a bunch of charity and Bob Ross company is really amazing about helping and we've done it for, you know, the um, Second Harvest Food Bank and Feeding America, different organizations. Very cool. So what's been one of the challenges of painting, essentially? Because you are a trained actor, but painting might be, I feel like, maybe a newer talent for you. Uh, what's it been like for you to kind of transition into this? Uh, I don't, listen, I, I don't really do it for, a, I haven't done it like professionally in a, I mean, as an instructor I have, I guess. But uh, I've always loved art. When I was younger, I did graffiti art. <laughs> That's where I really sort of started falling in love with be being able to do art and uh, spray paint. That's all still part of my sort of personal art, art experience. Now, as a Bob Ross instructor, are you actually traveling around the country doing seminars? Uh, I'm, I'm more so travel around doing, doing it with charity. Okay. That's, that's mainly my part, but um, sure. yeah, it's just I'll come fun to do, that. yeah. I just love watching that in action. <laughs> yeah, I know, so, right? What's your favorite part about doing the Bob Ross paintings? Is it the fan brush? Is it the happy little trees? Is it beating the devil out of your brushes when you're <laughs> on the turpinoid? No, I, uh, mine is the happy little trees. I love the trees. It's just fun when you, you know, when, when you're able to teach someone who's a Bob Ross fan about how to actually do a happy little tree, it's my favorite stuff. Now, have any of your kids been doing any painting with you? Like, what do they think about this? Oh, my kids love it. Yeah. Uh, one of my kids specifically is really sort of art, uh, loves the art of it. And uh, so it's just been really fun. I mean, for me, it's an escape. It's uh, doing, you know, I, I have anxiety, depression, and all that kind of stuff. So for me, I need to like do something creative like every day. I need to go for a walk every day. Like when I'm just stressed, doing something creative just really helps. I, mean, I find the interesting thing with Bob Ross is that it is like very much, uh, you know, it's following a sort of routine. Has that routine been helpful or sometimes do you need to like break away from the Bob Ross style and kind of do your own thing? Oh yeah, I mean, in general in art, I think you should always uh, sort of try different techniques. That's what's so great about the internet nowadays. 
you can learn these different techniques and you could uh, uh, you could practice different styles you can get inspiration you can take tutorials online I mean you know, nowadays you could even like look look up some of the greats and you can find some of their sort of information but it's just it's just fun I mean it's also like so when you start doing it then you start going for walks in nature and then you start looking at how the trees are and how the light hits them you just become more aware of it how the clouds sort of uh, you know work within it all now, it's going to be a little bit of a tonal shift here since we're talking about Bob Ross paintings, but i got to ask yeah. you a little bit about some pro wrestling here. Sure. Uh, so I believe you announced your retirement recently on the uh, Hey EW podcast. So is this going to be like an actual retirement, or are we talking like Terry Funk kind of retirement where we might see yeah, you back in the well, ring? Yeah, well, Terry Funk is a huge... Uh, I love Terry Funk. So Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if, it's, if I'm fully retired or not. I never left my boots in the ring. That is true. You have not done that yet. I mean, I would love to see uh, Arquette Jericho happen, personally. Oh, man. That's what I just told someone. I mean, I, I've become friendly, a little friendly with him recently. And went to go see Fozzie when he was, uh, I, I can't even remember where we were, but uh, oh, in, outside of Boston, maybe. Um, okay. But that was really fun. And I just love what he's done and how he's sort of conducted himself. And, and, and uh, yeah, so Jericho also uh, may have some unfinished business with a little person named Jeff Jared. <laughs> that goes way back. We can't talk about that today, but, yeah, I would love to see you get in the ring with Jeff Jared and finish off that story, personally. I think he's ready to rumble. Do you feel the same way about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He is amazing. I just... And do you still watch any AEW or WWE these days? Yeah, I watch all of it. No? I love it. Is this, do you watch wrestling with your kids at all? Yeah, uh, yeah. my son Charlie likes it. My son Charlie's nine. My son Gus is six, so it's a little... He finds it a little little uh, too scary. But, um, yeah, my son Charlie loves it. I just went out of town and... Uh, his grandmother was watching him, and she's like, Charlie's watching wrestling in your room. Is that okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's okay. That's awesome. Yeah, for uh, sure. Do your younger kids know about uh, your Nick Gage match? I'm curious about that. Uh, not really. I mean, they may have, like, seen, like, a little, like, picture of me with blood, and they're like, what, what, what happened? But, uh, no, they don't really know about I the mean, depth of it. Are they smartened up to the business yet, or are they still uh, no, keeping it? No, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you're a man of many creative passions. But I'm, I got a few more yeah, questions. Yeah, no okay, problem. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I know I've been bugging you for like 10 minutes almost. No, no problem. problem. So we know that you're a man of many artistic passions, whether it's performing or it's painting like we're doing today here. Uh, but that kind of thing, it's, it's a very intrinsic kind of art. It can often be kind of selfish. I mean, as a parent, do you ever feel like you're taking too much time for yourself or maybe not taking enough time for yourself? I mean, how do you balance having a life for yourself while also being a parent? Well, they typically have, like, their schedule and the things you have to, like, do. So then when you get your own time or when it's on the weekend, you know, you can explain it to them. Like, listen, this is my weekend, too. So what can, how can you guys, like, entertain yourself for a little so I could go paint or... Do you want to paint with me? That's all, all, like, art's such a fun thing to do with your kids because it's a way of everybody kind of interacting and, and uh, you're not playing a video game or on a screen or anything and you're just really getting your hands dirty, you're all playing together. So, I don't know, there's something just really uh, great about that. And if you can make sure to do that, it is for yourself, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all, what it's all about. I mean, that's very much important for like having a good mental health for I think especially for parents is like totally making sure you got the time to take for yourself and, and take care of yourself as much as taking care of your kids. Yeah, you have to. You have to, and it's good for them too. And they get it. Of the many, many hundreds of Bob Ross episodes, is there a favorite painting that you've done from the series with him? 
Well, when you take the course, you learn a few things. You learn how to paint a, um, a wave, which is pretty fun. Uh, and like, a, you know, seascape. You know, there's things like uh, doing the, you know, the uh, snow on the mountain. <laughs> you kind of got to get the technique down so you're really kind of zen with it. But once you start doing that stuff, I don't know, there's something that comes alive in it that really is uh, relaxing. And, you know, even when you do just a silly painting, there's something fulfilling about having a piece of art you just did. And I'm sort of an instant gratification person, so to be able to do these in like a half hour, an hour is really kind of fun for me. I mean, would this be your kind of dream, just to be full-time painting for the rest of your life? Uh, I believe in like, you don't have to limit your dreams. So if you like that, do that. And when you want to write something, go write something or go for a hike. Nobody says you just have to do one thing. That's sort of been my, my experience in life is just trying different things. But my caveat to that is you should try things or surround yourself or spend your time with things you love. Because one of the things in going into wrestling, I realized that everybody in there, the cameraman, the makeup artist, the wardrobe, they're all there because they loved wrestling. You go to like the Bob Ross class, you meet all the other students, they're all there because they love Bob Ross. So if you do that, and I love Bozo the Clown, so if you, <laughs> you know, so now I'm doing a bunch of clown stuff. So if you do that, I've found personally, if you surround yourself with things you love and people that love those same things, you find yourself in a group of people that share common interests, uh, sort of have similar uh, takes on life. Awesome. Brilliant take. And it looks like this painting is coming to a conclusion. Yeah, we've we been chatting for that long, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Just have to put a few, like, I guess, a little highlights in there. And then we should be done. I said, wait, well, then we'll call this done and then we'll sign it in red, just like Bob Ross does. Classic. Classic Bob Ross move. Might even throw some yellow in here because we got purple down here. Maybe some yellow, like little flowers or something. I just love bringing uh, extra sort of color in there. And beyond Mr. Ross, uh, are there any other artists that you enjoy looking at and taking inspiration from? Oh, for sure. There's tons. Robbie Canal is an amazing, like, political satire, well, not political set, but does uh, political art in decline is an amazing group that does really edgy art, plastic Jesus. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, no, I like a lot of graffiti art. Gajin Fujita was a guy who, we were in the same graffiti crew growing up. So I'm super supportive of his amazing like work he's been doing. It's so funny though, to talk about going from graffiti, right? Graffiti art to then Bob Ross style. It's such a big leap, isn't it? Yeah, but it's fun. I once did a Bob Ross and then I did graffiti on top of it. It was like the <laughs> combination of all these worlds I love. That's amazing. Yeah, let's uh, sign this. We should have put a squirrel in there or something. No, I'm just kidding. One of Bob Ross's little raccoon friends? Yeah. I, I always love his little animal friends. His little pea pod buddy. That was not a very good A, but... That's because I'm here. I'm, I'm throwing you no, off. No, not at all. Let's call this done. Let's take a look at that. Da -da -da. <laughs> Another one. So last thing, Mr. Arquette, Bob Ross is always about the hacky little accidents. What's been the best hacky little accident that ever happened to you? Uh, meeting my wife and having our two boys. Uh, you know, obviously I, I have three children and Coco's everything to me, but you know, if everyone's ever gone through a uh, divorce, it's really painful. Kind of feels like your life's over and, and it's the end of the world. But on the other side, I met my, my wife, Christina, and you know, it's a whole different world. Now we have a little farm with animals. <laughs> you know, she's an incredible stepmom too, so. 
That's a great that's, life. That's great. That's awesome. Look, thank, thank you. you so much for sharing your painting with us today and tell us all about these many, many things that you're working on, Mr. Arquette. It's been wonderful yeah. chatting with you and watching you work. Thank you so much.